Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live with uh, Exacting Truth Ministries. Normally, we will, we have Exacting Truth Insight into the Word on Wednesday with uh, Pastor Solera Mann Jr. However, this evening, we will be having another installment of the Couples Ministry with the Davises. My name is Mark, and tonight we will be we will be discussing the phrase, do opposites really attract? Let's we're, begin gonna begin, we're gonna begin with prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, we do thank you and praise you for all things. We thank you for another day and God, even in the midst of this storm that's passing through, which is asking that you would remember everyone in the exacting truth landscape. We thank you for those that are tuned in on tonight. God, and remember those that need prayer, those that need to be remembered. Again, we're just asking that you would have your way in this discussion on this evening. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hi. Um, my name, again, is Mark. And, and this is my wife, like I said previously. Um, and we've been married for 37 years. And the Lord has blessed us with three sons, uh, two of them which are married. And hopefully they will follow our pattern for being married for 37 years and hope they could have many more years of marriage. Uh, we have three grandchildren. We're, you know, we're pretty uh, proud of our family, you know. We love them, you know. And we believe they love us, you know. And um, as they were, as we was raising them, we was trying to be an example uh, to them, you know, so they could at least, uh, especially in the marriage uh, department, so when it was time for them to marry, they would know how to love their spouses. Um, Mark and I were talking, you know, in preparation for this study on tonight, and, uh, you know, the thought came to my mind, you know, you hear that phrase, you know, that opposites attract. And I thought, really? Do they really attract opposites? And according to dozens of studies that have been done, the idea that opposites attract in relationships, come to find out, that's a myth. In reality, people tend to be attracted to those who are similar to themselves. Studies have also indicated that personality contracts tend to stand out and become bigger over time. Yeah, have you ever uh, been in a grocery store and you see a couple coming down an aisle and it's like, I wonder how, what made them get together, you know, how they became a couple, because they look so strange. You know, it's not all about the looks, Kim. You know, it's something uh, that you see, you know, it's like, Kim, like, what, what did you see in me that made you want to pursue me? <laughs> Other than my, my uh, strong physique <laughs> and good looks. Oh, Lord. Uh, the one thing that attracted me to you uh, was your personality and how you are. You were very uh, jovial. You were fun to be around. And, you know, we just, we got along, you know, on, on, in a lot of, on a lot of things, on a lot of topics. And um, my mind just goes back to, I've, I've seen situations where uh, couples, you know, even if it was a, you know, it was they they might not have even been married, but it was a man and a woman. And, you know, you look at a woman that might have been raised a certain way, and for some reason it seemed like they become attracted to like a thug, you know, or or, or, or a bad boy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I you know, I just kinda wonder, you know, what was in what did that female see in that guy? What attracted them to that person? And they wasn't, and they didn't have the same, and, and, and they didn't have the same. She didn't, she didn't have the same personality traits. Like when I was, I, um, when I was pursuing you, mm -hmm. I was attracted to you because, and it's so funny when you mentioned what attracted 
uh, you to me. It's the same thing that attracted to it attracted I. It was the same thing that uh, attracted me to you. Mm -hmm. I thought you was funny, you know, mm -hmm. and I just thought you was the nicest person, you know, and the coolest. And our, the conversation was so easy. And one thing, not to be too deep, you know, I was young in the Lord at that time, but I loved the way you loved the Lord. It seemed like you were sincere, you know, and I said, man, that's, she is what I was striving to be as a person, you mm -hmm. know, and that attracted me to you, you know. Um, and I think a lot of when I see these couples uh, or, you know, they're attracted to like, I know some nice young ladies and it seemed like they were attracted to like the thug mentality mm -hmm. uh, and they wasn't even raised that way, you know. It's probably a curiosity. Do you think it could be like a, a curiosity thing? And it's like, man, I feel that if I had a thug, you know, I would pe feel more protected, you mm -hmm. know. I, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the, you know, I can't speak for them. Right. Uh, and it's something like, something like the attraction to the unknown. You right, know? that curiosity. You know, because yeah. if you were brought up sheltered or you had, well, not even sheltered, but, you know, you just had some, you know, some decency about you. Mm -hmm. It's just something about going over there and looking on that other side. You know, th th there's a, a an attraction. Um, and even thinking about that, I don't know if, if I think about that. Um, does that last? Does, does that type of relationship, you know, can it last? Does it last? Um, I don't know. And, you know, Mark and I, we're talking from our perspective. Yes. We ain't putting down nobody. Look, if that's, God knows. <laughs> you know, he just knows all about everything. Our lives, you know, um, our circumstances, you know, what we need. He knows all of that. Um, so we can only speak from, you know, what we have experienced. But, you know, when I think about, just think about the man that's out there. You know, we use that term. They hoeing. They going from woman to woman to woman to what? They just they having a field day. You know, cause they feel like they got somebody child. She can throw it on me. All right, now she gonna throw it on you. But you know what? At the end of the day, let's be real. You, when it's time for that man to settle down. Now I think we've seen this. They not going to the to that person, and and that person and that person. It seemed like they looked for some. I just had a discussion last week with somebody when we was getting ice cream, uh, three Bs, um, and he was saying it. This was funny. He was admitting how he was like a man, ho. Like he said, <laughs> said it like that. He said, but when he matured and wanted mm -hmm. to settle down, those women uh, that he was pursuing, he was looking for somebody more like his mom. Right. And and he actually settled down, and they've been together for like, like like over twenty years, with somebody that uh, that remind him of his mom, you right. know. So this uh, opposite attracts, you know. And this love thing is just is something. It is so. I, I found this scripture, uh, you know, talking about you know love. This was in Proverbs, and the writer of Proverbs, that uh, whoever it, it had his name. Uh, is Proverbs uh, 30, uh, 18 and 19. It said, there are three things that that amaze me. No, he's like, he said, there are three things that amaze me. And then the writer said, no, <laughs> I thought of another one. Uh, four things uh, that I don't understand. How an eagle glides through the sky and how, this, how a snake slithers on a rock and how a ship navigates an ocean. And the fourth thing is how a man loves a woman. It's just, uh, it's so uh, complicated, uh, yet simple, you know. Um, but uh, I just wanted to put that out. I just, I laughed, you mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. when I read that scripture. Right, uh, mm -hmm. right. Um, one, one example, even um, biblically, when you look at uh, Samson, uh, the story of Samson and Delilah and 
when you look at how Samson came to be, you know, his mother was barren, you know, an angel of the Lord came and spoke to her and told her that she was going to have a son. And the thing that really s stood out in my mind was the angel of the Lord said that the child should be a Nazarite to God unto the womb from the, you know, to the day of his death. So, you know, there was certain, uh, there was a certain way that Samson was raised and was brought up. And even though he came from the type of family that he came from, child, he saw something in those Philistine women. It was just, you know what I mean? It was a curiosity. He loved women. And, you know, one of the scriptures, uh, our scripture reference for them is in Judges, you know, the 15th chapter. And, um, you know, there's some verses in there and, you know, that goes on and tells us this story about Samson, you know, about Delilah. And uh, Judges 16 and 4 in particular you know, goes on to say, you know, it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Surak, whose name was Delilah. Now, Samson had already been with some other women. And, you know, even when he was with the first wife, you know, his father said, it's so many, what, what, why are you looking at those women? <laughs> you know, we yeah. have women right here within tri their tribe yeah. or whatever, you know, that you should be able to find you know, and, and want to be, you know, your wife. No. The Philistines were the enemies. They were the enemy of God. Mm -hmm. But yet that's what he wanted. And, you know, unfortunately, it was to his detriment, you know, that he got involved with Delilah, you know, and he looked over, you know, that way. So I, I just think it's interesting because... You know, the way that the story reads in that fifth verse, you know, it, it's going on to say, you know, the lords of the Philistines, they came up to her and they said unto her, entice him and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflicting. And we will give the every one of us 1,100 pieces of silver. Now, ain't that something? <laughs> Now here you supposed to be with somebody and they going to sell you out. I mean, this woman was not walking in the ways you know of the 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 the, the, the children of Israel or God's people. Mm -hmm. It was a total different story. And she sold him out. And she she kept at him and kept adding and kept at him until he revealed he should have never told you know what the secret of his strength was. But the Bible said that <laughs> she vexed him almost to death. And he just said, forget it. And he told her, you know, the secret. And they, sure enough, you know, while she was laying on his lap, they came up there, they cut all his hair off. And his strength was gone. Um, and I'm just saying, that's, that's just something to think about. It's so important to you know, to, to pray and to seek God and, you know, to, to really think about who you are hooking up with. Yes. You know, is that the person that God has for you? And is there something that is in that person that is similar to something that you see in yourself? You know, I'm not saying, because we all know we come from two different um, lifestyles. Mark was raised in his family. I was raised in my family. But I, coming from the perspective of being believers, you know, and in Christ, you know, you have to look at this thing different, I feel. Yeah, I, I feel that, um, I really feel that the similarities, uh, you know, I see couples, <laughs> they might get together. Even a simple thing, you know, uh, about how to raise the children, right. you know, all these discussions should be had when you when you both sitting down at the table at Red Lobster, right. Right. <laughs> you know, right. Uh, right. you know what 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 is your values? You right. know, what do you believe? Right. Um, how do you feel about this? That this should be almost an interview process, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes we, you know, uh, 
both the man or the woman, they just want, I think it's out of a, a lustful eye, you know, I see that body, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I could make that work. But you, you know, it's not all about that body. It's like, you gotta have a conversation. You have, have to have um, uh, communication. You gotta have love, uh, friendship, you right. know, with uh, one another. And you gotta learn how to work together honesty uh you know and be honest with one another it should be um they should have courses <laughs> when you ready when you ready really ready to settle down and, and get married about uh what you should think about before you make this decision mm -hmm. or even forget the marriage thing you know you out there dating and stuff what are, what is your means? What are you what are you dating for? Uh uh friendship or uh or just a physical thing. Right. You know, you could you could buy the physical thing, you know. Um mm -hmm. but if you want a relationship, a lasting relationship, that thing really has to be uh communicated, discussed with that your uh with the spout right. uh with the other part party you know right. I just really believe that mm -hmm. you know um, my mom raised me a certain way right. you know everybody's situation is different right my mom raised me a certain way um, uh, to be a certain way you know and and I even for a brief period of time mm -hmm. um, I actually experienced uh, um, Opposites mm -hmm. attract. I was attracted to this young lady mm -hmm. that was totally uh, not in. It was somebody that I should have never been attracted to, right. you know. Uh, and that thing was. Uh, <laughs> it lasted two weeks, and it was like it was awful. Um, so uh, when I met you, it was like it was no problem saying. I can make this last for the rest of my life, you know, mm. you know, so, you know, I think curi I, I, you say, what's the, what's the curiosity phrase? kills the cat. <laughs> it kills the cat. <laughs> it, it don't wound the cat. <laughs> right. You know, it kills the cat. And right. I believe I, we see these relationships, you know, uh, <laughs> um, there was, um, we grew up in, in people, were uh, being married, and uh, be, me and Kim was saying behind closed doors, nope, that's not gonna work. Yes, that's gonna work. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not gonna work. And it's uh, and and I just uh, prayed that the people in the relationship could see, you know, signs, you know, mm -hmm. on if this is gonna last, you know. Right, right. Mm -hmm. There was another couple in the Bible, and like I said, I know we're talking about opposites um, at the same time you know you can have a couple and they could be like minded or have yeah. some the same interest and they could be evil <laughs> true <laughs> yes God but they have that one mind yeah to be evil to be evil uh, that's crazy Ahab and Jezebel in 1 Kings 16 and 29 and in the it says, and in the thirty and eighth year of Asa, king of Judah, began Ahab, the son of Omri, to reign over Israel. And Ahab, the son of Omri, reigned over Israel in Samaria twenty and two years. And Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord above all that were before him. Can we just pause for a minute? You know that's something to say. He did <laughs> more evil than any of the kings before him. That that's something. That was his reputation. That was his legacy. And I know some people feel like, child, I don't care what nobody said about. Well, you know what? You should be concerned about your legacy. Um yeah. Your, you know, your name. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, you should be, you should be concerned about that, um, because you know, if somebody was to call your name out, <laughs> and 
<laughs> What's the first thing you think about when you think of so and so? Well, I'm thinking this, 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 and that. Um, if there isn't a, a, a lot of things that are favorable, you know, everybody's not lying. So you, you, you know, we we have to look at that. You know, and if there's some areas that you know you need to change or we need to get right, we mm -hmm. need to get it. We need to get it right, especially those of us that are believers. Now, that's what I said. We we can only speak from this perspective because we say that we love God. You know, he left us a roadmap. He left us, you know, something on record, you know, for us to live our lives according to the scripture. We can't just have our own mind and do whatever we want and saying that we are, uh, we're, we're a believer. True. But Ahab, the scripture said, he he did evil in the sight of the Lord above all that before that were before him. Well, verse thirty one, and it came to pass as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nabat, that he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbel, king of the Zidonians, and they went and they served Baal and worshipped him. Now. She was a king's daughter. Okay. He was a king. But she was the daughter of a king. But they was evil. And there was a lot of things that they, that they conspired together to do. You know, that's something. They did have the one mind, though. <laughs> okay. Evil. Evil. And when uh, I looked up Jezebel, uh, the word archetype. I never used that word before. I never knew what that meant. But Jezebel is the archetype of an evil woman right that means she's the prototype <laughs> of an evil woman i'm pretty sure um you all have heard uh people back in the day oh she's just a jezebel <laughs> you know um that woman was evil she was so evil she was an archetype she was the prototype if you want to uh study out how to be an evil woman <laughs> oh, jesus you have you have to look her up, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and that and that's a that's a shame that you're so evil that you became an archetype or a prototype of an evil woman, you know, uh, just saying your name, right. Jezebel. It come, you know, uh, those who are aged that know, you know, it's like, oh, you know, there's certain names, man. That's so powerful. Mm -hmm. If you have a trait that is so, uh, you know. Um, prominent that just the mention of your name <laughs> Jesus <laughs> that people think a certain way like you know you would name your son Hitler you know because mm -hmm. Hitler you know <laughs> right. he was so evil so you know it was my sons are Justin Jason and Jordan and I didn't even think of how about the Hitler David <laughs> you know man it would probably be hard to get a job that way <laughs> You know, but um, so when your name carries a weight, you know, like you said, I don't care what people think about it. If your if your traits are so bad, um, that your name carries a weight, that's that's really, unless it's a good, uh, unless it's a good name, you mm -hmm. know, uh, they know your name for being good, you know. Right. So, um, you know. It's just something to think about. Yeah. That, that it's, it's just something to think about, you know, in this whole world of, you know, being married and the responsibility. You know, this 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 isn't some fly by night something. You know, the vows that we made before God. You know, if 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 we were married, you know, if we were married, and you know, our pastor or a preacher, uh, you know, married you. If if you were married. You know, by the justice of the peace. You know, though there there were vows <laughs> that you said. You know that we're supposed to live up to and uphold. So you know, it, you can't just take it for you know, for, you know, for light like like it's nothing. I have the scripture. Uh, everybody's familiar with this. You know, those who are believers. It's Genesis two and eighteen, and the Lord. God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. 
And I was thinking, you know, the only, you know, they said opposites attract. The only opposite, and I wouldn't even say it's opposites. I, I think sometime God will put somebody in your life. Right. You know, uh, like I had came into a relationship with uh, deficiencies. And those things that I was deficient on, Kim was very strong in that area. And I think that's to help me. Like, uh, for an example, I'm impatient, you know, I'm still working on it. And I, he's delivering me because first you got to confess <laughs> <laughs> your faults, you know. But Kim is very, she's a very patient uh, person. And her and me gleaning from her patience you know, that's the help me. You know, she's helping me to be a better mark. And where she is, can I say this? Where she is really not a timely person. <laughs> I'm I'm very timely, you know. I don't need an alarm clock to get up, you know. I you know it's a, a automatically, you know, in my system to know what time it is, you know. I can feel time, you know. I Kim can. Is, can Kim cannot feel time. She can't feel it, you know. And I'm thinking that's my strength, uh, and I could help her, you know. Mm -hmm. In that area, there's um, there's just a lot of I believe God puts people together where there's weaknesses in one person, the other person is strong. That's the only if we wanted to say opposite attracts, but I wasn't a, I can't say that part. That's just character. That's right. not an attraction, you know. Right. But I believe uh, God does give you a help meet to make you complete, uh, make you complete, you make me complete, you know. It's, it well, you, like, we can strengthen one another. Yes. You know, we can be an encouragement to one another. You know, don't 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 be like, you know, you know, your husband may say something, or even in my case, you know, the one, and then you know, if, if you were in a, a, a you know a group of people or a certain situation, and then you know you gonna say something, and you know you're you're poking fun, you know, at your spouse, or you are, you know, just making them look bad mm -hmm. um that you know that that's not right mm -hmm. now having said that i think you you just need to know how one another are you yes. know you you need to know <laughs> how your spouse is he need to know how i am uh you know in certain certain things i'm not saying that you don't help one another because if you just allow someone to continue in the same wrong vein or the same wrong way and you don't say anything that's not right either that's mm -hmm. not what i'm talking about mm -hmm. now we all know we can't change nobody mm -hmm. if that thing if it don't come out of my own soul to change the way that i do things if something is brought to my attention i mean you know god he show us stuff <laughs> he'll speak through a child he'll speak through circumstance you know, and so we have to embrace it, we have to accept it, and we have to change. Um, having said that, um, you know, I, I could, I'm, I'm just saying, there, there, there's just things that we have you said, that we really need to help, you know, well, one another with. Yeah, I, I notice if, if, if I say something, and I know it doesn't um, you know, we should use every moment as a teaching moment uh, of ourselves, you know, or even in a relationship. Uh, and, I, and if I say something and I know it kind of offsets Kim, that's perfectly. And I could see I could see a, a facial, a facial distortion. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and in my own mind, you know, I said, don't say that no more. You know, that's that's a lesson. Don't. Don't say no that more. Or don't uh, uh, just don't say that no more, uh, you know, uh, and um, and and sometimes she or we both will say, you know, I, I don't like that, you know, mm -hmm. but um, you know, but learn from those moments. You got to learn your your spouse. I, I just believe that um, um, communication uh, is just great, you know, and 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 you got both parties it can't be 
you know, I think this is awesome, awful. There's always somebody that's quiet, you know. Not I mean, there's people that's quiet in a relationship, and one is very boisterous, mm -hmm. you know. I think both people should be very communicative. You know, people shouldn't have to uh, communicate with their mind. You know, <laughs> one person is saying so, such and such, such and such, and such and such, and the one person is just, the other spouse is just, you know. No, you know, because she could be thinking or he could be thinking, I hear you, but later on I'm going to kill you. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, right. you, use your right. words. Yeah, right. use your words. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we tell kids, you know, use your words. <laughs> say what you want to mm -hmm. say, you know, mm -hmm. be able to express. Mm -hmm. um, the one scripture in Second Corinthians 6 and 14 it says, be, not, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communication have light with darkness? You know, I mean, seriously. If, if you're not yoked, if, 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 it's, if, it, if you're unequal, you know, you're at odds all the time. <laughs> Ain't nothing right. You don't see eye to eye on nothing. I mean, you want you want to reevaluate because maybe y'all shouldn't have been together. Yes. I know there's people out there say, "Child, you stay there." Let me tell you something. I'm not staying with nobody, and 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 and, and it's just not you know working out. And you know you you just at odds. That's that's not a fruitful relationship. And you know, and if you're not happy, because it <laughs> it's gonna show. Whether or not you're happy, you know, or, or, you know, you're in love and you're just, you know, glad to be with one another. You know, me and Mark, now Three B's is right down the street. <laughs> you know, we might want to go and get some ice cream. You know, we got two different cars. We ain't go. you go in your car, I'm going in mine. Now, you know that's crazy, that's right? That's crazy. That's crazy. So, if you are... In a relationship, I mean, my God, you can't stand to be in the same house with one another. You need to examine what's going on. You know, get to the root of that. Deal with that problem. And then maybe you can move on. But, you know, if, if there are differences and things that are uh, irreconcilable uh, or whatever, you know, then maybe... Maybe you didn't marry the right person. I mean, I, I'm just saying. I know there's a lot of people that disagree with that, but I just don't feel like God wants you to be in a situation or in a in a relationship, you know, and you're not happy. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. I just, I, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you can't even laugh. You know, there's no, uh, you know, there. You, I'm just saying, you, you, you can't no, even laugh. There's no, yeah, joy. no joy. There's no happiness in the relationship. There's mm -mm. no way mm -mm. I would be, you know, right. in a relationship like that. You know, right. I like, you know, sometimes I'll I be tired. I'll be tired. You had a hard day at work and, and Kim will come in and she wants to talk. I love it. You know, I'll be tired, but she would talk. <laughs> I just, I just love the communication and the love. I love coming home. I uh, I have never gotten tired of you, Kim. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it, we just never, it's just never enough time for us, you know. And maybe that's, maybe that's why we stayed together so long because we never really, you know, we've been together 37 uh, years, but maybe in all we haven't been together you know, because I haven't spent much time as much time with you that I would love. You know, mm -hmm. so you I know, know, but you know, it's life. You know, you go through stuff. Oh yeah, you know? oh yeah. You know, because I, I. But that's what all I'm saying is I enjoy being around. You. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I enjoy it, being around you too. I mean, we both like to laugh. Is, is this, I just can't imagine being in a relationship and and, and nothing is funny. You don't have nothing you can laugh. Ain't no joke. No nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, my husband is crazy. So, but he likes to laugh. So we we enjoy laughing together and laughing at one another. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. Yeah, don't even. I'm just time to end the video live. Yeah, because before you, but uh, 
we just thank you guys for joining us uh, today. Uh, we thank you for uh, joining us today, and hopefully uh, in the future you'll see us in the future. You know, did you have anything? Well, no, I, you know, I, I just appreciate the opportunity, you know, to be able to share, mm -hmm. you know, with you all, and hopefully, you know, something was said even yes. to just, you know, give you some, some insight and uh, like I said, you know, we're married. For those of us that are married or we have been married, you know, you have kids. It's it's a lot of, it's it's a responsibility. You're not just going through this life, uh, you know, like, you know, with, without responsibility, you know, without, you know, ha having a God conscious, you know, being, being aware of stuff, you know. Um, you know, do you even think about the fact that Somebody might be looking. They might be. They might not be, but they might be. Mm -hmm. You know, and is, is anybody inquiring? You know, does anybody wonder? Well, you know, well, my God, it seems like y'all get along. Not, not, come on now, let's just be real. Everybody know it. We've been married 30 some years. God in heaven knows we have not always seen eye to eye. He just know that. At the end of the day, throughout all the argument, whatever you know i'm looking out the other side of the window mark's driving he driving and i'm looking this way because i you know i ain't trying to hear right now what you got to say i'm just not so you know we we, we we've been through that we've had to work through that and you just work through it and i think at the at the other side of that that's where you find you know, that, mm -hmm. that happiness and that desire, exactly. you know, just to want to spend time with that person, you know, exactly. I'm just saying that's, that's just a blessing. I don't mind hold Mark's hand. We in the car, you know, or, or we walking down the street or whatever, you know, it's a blessing. <laughs> I'm not like, don't, don't you touch me. <laughs> oh God. I'm just saying, you know, you would have to really reevaluate what has happened so traumatic that you don't even want your spouse to i mean don't touch me <laughs> i'm just saying i just think that you need to look at that mm -hmm. so um it's it's you know it's a blessing um to see our kids you know at the stage of of life you know even that they're at and just that desire to want to see them grow up to be those men you know we didn't have girls we had all boys so even that's important you know and you just you just want them to to grow up and know that with god you know you can make it in this life yeah. whatever you're going through with god you know with god with in, god. in your life if you have people that you are able to get counsel you know bishop have been there have counsel pastor have that's me and junior have counsel you know, and if, and if that's what's needed in your life, then you do that. But whatever it is, you know, just just know that, you know, with, with, with Christ, uh, you know, you can make it. Yes. And so, I, I like I said, we're grateful. We're, we're thankful for everything uh, on this evening. Thank you so much for joining in on tonight. And at this time, we're going to sign off. <laughs> Have a good evening. In, uh, in.